Good morning. And, and the next morning for the for the piece of uh, uh, pot cleanup, it's quite simple because you only use the lid. So it's just a matter of uh, a bit of soapy water in the um, in the actual pot itself. Clean the uh, well. This part was just working as the oven, and and the lid as well. Give that a scrape. Rinse it off. Good for the next time. For tonight, for a curry. Look forward to that. Afternoon from the Billung Pools. So we're just um, oh, about an hour and a half north of uh, Murchison Station and uh, settlement, and we've lucked out with this absolutely gorgeous spot. You can see in the background the sign Billung Pools. Speaking of gorgeous, hello, Missus. She's got the chips ready because we're heading down for a little swim ski. Have a look down here. We've got the fire ready to go for our curry tonight, Missus. You're going to do the honours and uh, walk, walk with this. Walk with it. And as we go down the, the yeah. hill. Oh, you got still. So you're right. looking through there? I'm looking through there. Right, the missus is doing some filming. Look at this. Oh, we're right. going this way. Oh. Going down this? Did we come up this way? Yeah. Right, oh. So it's a steep descent for about 30 centimetres. And then the rest of the way. Here we go made it but have a look where we are <laughs> we're gonna blow up the mud monster so actually you can get down here by um, four-wheel drive but you, I don't think you'd bring a caravan down here I just had a look at the track back there but this cars come down four doors come down so yeah this is the Billung pools there's our stumps someone's even made a swing for us How beautiful is that? Kookaburra up there as well. Right, eh? Let's get set. That's how it's done. Time for a beer. Cold, refreshing brew. Cheers. Cheers. Saturday night. Cheers. VB for those punching above their weight. Right, eh? Just in case I hadn't mentioned it, we're at um, Billung Pool, um, hour and a half north of uh, Murchison Settlement, and um, it's a little bit rough. We're coping okay though. You're coping okay up there, missus? Mrs. Mrs. is coping up very okay too. I'll show you where to go. Won't you see free? We have no time for love. We run away. To get us up when we're low. Oh. Well, good evening from Billong Pool. And tonight's culinary delight is brought to you again from the camp oven. And it's a chicken korma, a curry. So this is what it looks like. There's Mrs. She's very busy. Fire. I'm just going to get some coals out of here because it was a little bit hot where we were. Let's put those on the ground. You can't burn the curry. No, we don't want burnt curry. That's not cool. And uh, get my little uh, handle here. It's a cooking in a covered vessel. In a covered vessel. So that's it there. Plenty of heat in that camp oven already. Mm -mm -mm. So, onion went in first. Chicken corn, sweet potato, and pumpkin to go in later. Oh, yeah. So we had onion, it went in first, and a bit of oil, and then we 
And then we uh, put the chicken in, then we put the paste in, then we put some cream in, and then um, the uh, potato and uh, sweet potato and pumpkin. pumpkin will go in shortly. Look at the bugs, the moss, they're hanging around too because they know how good it's going to be. So all we've got to do is sit and wait and have some. Um, and look at the stars. And look at the stars. Might even be a, uh, a little gin scaroonie as well. Yeah, That's we'll show you what it looks like at the end. Right, on, let's have a little look, Ski. It's been uh, slowly cooking. Oh, buckling okay. away nicely. Miss is going to give it a little stir. We've got the um, potato, a pump pumpkin, a sweet potato ready to go in. I'm just going to stick this on. No, nope, put that just right there next to that frame. Bit the bread. No, on the on the coals. Ow. It's hot. There you go. Bit of um, Turkish bread to go the curry. What's that? Nice. Worm. Mm. It's a worm. We're about an hour east of Mount Augusta. We just left uh, Billong Pools. But, um, the roads are absolutely spectacular and it's always been graded. So it's been oh, this Yeah, they've had some, had some rain. Guys, going river crossing. Yeah, the creeks are full. The difference when it's green. from uh, Mount Augusta Campgrounds. <coughs> so we're about three hours north of um, Billung Pool, north of Murchison, and, and uh, on our way to uh, Linden and then across to Exmouth. So this morning we thought we'd get up and climb this. There it is, Mount Augusta. So Mrs. has got some... Um, some some fun facts for you about Mount Augusta. Oh, you're struggling. Hang on, let's just get that back. <laughs> so tell us all about Mount Augustus, not Mount Augusta. Mount Augustus. Of <clears throat> it's big. It's big, bigger than. And then the rock. That's it's, Uluru. Yeah, it's bigger than Uluru. Biggest yes. rock in the world. Yes. One hundred one point six five oh million years old. A little bit older than me. Twice the size of Uluru. Is it twice the size? Right. It's a little bit older. Right. Older and larger than Uluru. It's fifty three k's um, to, to do the loop around it, isn't it? Well, circumference around the bottom, yeah. Fifty three k's. And how far is the walk we go on a day? A long one. <laughs> 12 k's. 12 k's, bloody long walk. And I'm just trying to work out the height. I think it's, um, I don't know how high it actually is. I don't know. I'm trying to find out how high it is. But when we get up there, we'll say, we'll, do, we'll give you, a, it's, it's this high, this high, this high. You put the bar on top. <laughs> well, we were up at quarter past five this morning. Yeah, because the galahs had just been busy. And I think they're all just congregating on the top of our van. Yep, busy. And, um, okay, there you go, 700 metres high. 700 metres high, there you go. Someone was also coughing during the night because they got a bit of, bit of flu. Flu? Bit of flu, man flu. It's bloody serious, man flu. So, um, yeah, between the galahs and my coughing, we were awake from about four o'clock, so it's got us pumped and ready for this 12k walk today. But we'll bring you some footage because um, it's actually, unlike Uluru, it's got hair on top. There's some um, foliage. So one's a monolith. I think Air's Rock might be a monolith because it's got no foliage. And Mount Augustus is a mono 
something. We'll find out. Drive. It only looks nice. Look at that. I'm not sure where we go. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. The feeling we chase, I'm wide awake. Take me away now. Well, it's still AM, five minutes till to midday, and we just finished the Mount Augustus walk, and you can see that behind us. But on the way back um, from Mount Augustus to the camp grounds, the Mount Augustus Cameron Park, there is uh, a little place called uh, Cattle Pool, and it's where Mr. Hooley, who was a, a drover in his time, brought 3,000 sheep from uh, Geraldton to Ashburton, and he only lost eight, and it was because of supplies like this that he was able to uh, get his sheep all that way in that time. And this was also part of the uh, Kingsford Smith mail run from uh, Carnarvon out to uh, Mount Augustus. So how's that? And what a little treat after you finish that uh, 12 and a half k walk up the top. Mrs, are you getting in? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's a no. So I'll just have to share with how good it is. So you just walk down. Oh, <laughs> Mrs, how those calves. But just have a look at the fish in here. Just, you sure know what they are. Yes. They're nice. Nice little fish. Right, oh, no. here we go. Why do team. I stop it? Oh, press the top. Careful, the old fart. A graceful entrance. Oh. It's cold. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's cold. Nice. Don't yeah. put it. Don't put it in your mouth. No. My friends, these are the good times. And I... Showing off, hanging upside down. 